Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Carolyn Murray. Earlier tonight, Charleston leaders discussed future plans for Union Pier. This comes after the South Carolina Ports Authority announced it has revised its redevelopment plan, which will be submitted to the city later this month. News 2's Kevon Dupree joins us live from downtown Charleston. And Kevon, you had a chance to sit in on that meeting and to listen to that discussion. What did they say? Carolyn, several people turned out for tonight's meeting to hear about the height, density, and design of that proposed plan. The Gale Yard Center Ballroom, filled with Charleston community members and city officials, learning more about the latest changes to the Union Pier redevelopment plan. We listened when city leaders and residents, conservationists, and historians said they wanted us wanted less density, more green space, and better focus on historic landmarks. Developers stating their most up-to-date layout of the 70-acre proposal reflects what neighbors asked for. You will see more green space, fewer buildings, and a better connectivity from the city to the water. During the hour-long presentation, Presenters highlighted key differences between the original layout and this latest version related to the development's density, design, and height. The height should be embedded within the center along the spine of Concord Street. And that's one, to support the density on Concord Street, to make a place that is enlivened. But the other, other reason for allocating it is to make sure that the height on the site is not right in your face as you navigate through the rest of the city. They also covered the increased green space they've added since their last public meeting. An event lawn and, and, a, and an incredible play space are out there on the water, so pulling people through. Following the presentation, planning committee members and residents weighed in on the revised plan. A lot of what you presented tonight that, that is reflected in people's concerns. We might not be fully there yet, but we are moving in that direction. While we're encouraged by what we've seen this evening, we still feel that what has been proposed is too tall, too dense, and does not reflect the exceptional design principles of our world-renowned historic city. I would encourage you to take this process slowly, not try to ramrod it and speed it up, but there's a lot of work still to be done. And developers will present their latest proposal to the city on April 17th. Reporting live in downtown Charleston, I'm Kevon Dupree. Count on two.